Aloha! Welcome to He Oivi Oi, which means, are you native? Oftentimes we hear the terms native, non-native, introduced, and invasive when referring to both plant and animal species. But what do they mean? These terms are referring to a species' distribution status. We're going to take a closer look at the different distribution status terms in more detail. A native species is an organism that arrived to an area without the help of humans. Here in Hawaii, these organisms were carried here by one or more of the three W's, wings, wind, or waves, or in Olelo, Hawaii, namu ekolu, manu, makani, or moana. There are two types of native species, endemic and indigenous, so what's the difference? An endemic species is restricted to a limited geographical area. In our case, it's a species that's found in Hawaii and nowhere else in the world. Species can be endemic to a specific island or even a particular mountain on an island. A well-known example of an endemic species is ohia. An indigenous species are those that originated or occur naturally in a given place. In other words, it arrived in Hawaii by the three W's, but it's also found in other places in the world. Many of our coastal species are indigenous, such as akulikuli. Here's one way to remember the difference between the two types of native species. Endemic species ended up in Hawaii, adapted and evolved into new species, and are now found nowhere else on Earth. Indigenous species are native in Hawaii and are also native in other parts of the world. Now let's talk about the difference between native and introduced. It all has to do with humans. If native species got to an area without the help of humans, then introduced species arrived in an area with human help. Human introductions can be both intentional and unintentional and still occur today. Let's dive further into introduced species. Here in Hawaii, we distinguish the difference between Polynesian introduced species and those that were introduced post-European contact. So if Captain Cook first arrived in Hawaii in 1778, anything introduced after this point in time would be considered alien. Polynesian introduced species are, as its name suggests, species that were brought to Hawaii by Polynesian settlers. Because these voyagers traveled by va'a or canoes, these plants are often referred to as canoe plants. Many of these plants are edible or have multiple uses critical to survival. Now let's take a look at species that were introduced after Western contact. The alien category can be broken down further into invasive and exotic species. Invasive species are those that are harmful to the environment, economy, and or human health. Invasive plants are able to quickly reproduce, can easily disperse their seeds, grow quickly, and therefore are able to outcompete and displace native species. Let's compare invasives to exotic species. Just like invasives, exotic species originate from another area. However, these species typically don't cause problems. They don't have many of the same characteristics that make a species invasive, which means they don't escape from cultivation, like from people's yards, farms, or greenhouses, and they don't take over or invade areas. It's important to know the difference of what an actual native plant is versus what was introduced. Our endemic species are unique to Hawaii. They are what allow our forests to efficiently capture water, and they are the foundation on which Hawaiian culture is built. The next time you go out into the forest or out into your yard, take a look around and ask those plants and animals, Hey oi vi oi, are you native? <laughs>